You can rely on us, we're a real couple of smarties. In fact, we're so smart, it's smarts. Isn't that right, Benny? It certainly is. We'll see about that. Right. What's this? Well, that's easy. It's a brush. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. I know a brush when I see one, and that's a brush. It's a brush. Only a fool would call this brush a brush. Fool? Well, what is it, then? Well, it's a, um, hedgehog on a stick. No, it isn't. And neither is it a brush. This is a Better Bristle Brush Company brush. This is what you'll be selling. Have you only got the one? It's not going to take as long to sell one brush. Oh. Uh, what he means is it's not going to take as long to sell one Better Bristle Brush Company brush. This is just a sample. I thought you said it was a Better Bristle Brush Company brush. It is. But when you go out, you'll have a complete range of our magnificent brushware with you. And all you've got to remember is that the public want what you've got. And it's up to you to let them have it. Don't you worry. We'll let them have it, won't we, Vanny? We certainly will. That's what I like to hear. Now then, let's have a look at you. Hands, knees and bumps, daisy show me your hands. Oh, we've got four of them between us. Good. Trousers? Mm, fine. Shoes? Good. Other foot? Hmm, excellent. <clears throat> now then, I'm going to have to check your particulars. You're not. I am. You're not. I am. Are you? Yes. You know, your references. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? I did. You didn't. I did. Did, did you? you? Yes. It must mean the letters. Oh, right. There you are. Are these letters from all the places you've worked? No. Thank heavens for that. There's these as well. Just a minute. These are all written by the same person. You. Well, that's because we were fully self-employed. You must have been, writing these. Never mind, I'll check them later. <laughs> In the meantime, pick up your brushes and go forth. We can't go forth, there's only two of us. We could go tooth. Come on. And remember, no slacking. What's the matter with you? Are you trying to get a sack before we even start? All I said was that we Never mind what you said, you can carry that. <laughs> Paul? What? Shouldn't there be something on this handle? Oh, no. Must have left it inside. You go and fetch it. Why me? You left it. I can't go in. I've got to read up on my salesmanship. I thought you might have to. Oh! <laughs> I forgot the case. Thank you. Right, this is just a job. Is it? Yes. According to my book on salesmanship, this is the very kind of street we're looking for. Good. I'll get busy then. Where are you going? I'm going to sell some brushes. Da, 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 da. It's not as easy as that. You can't just go walking up to any old house and ring the doorbell. Of course you can't. Of course you can't. I'll go to a new one and use the knocker. No, 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 no. I don't mean that. What do you mean then? Well, for example, look at that house over there. What about it? Well, that's so well kept, they've obviously got loads of brushes already. Have they? Yes. And that house over there, They've obviously got no brushes at all. So which one would you choose? This one over here. Why? They probably used up all the brushes and they'll need some new ones. And it's not as far to walk. Wrong. We'll use that one over there because they probably need some. Come on. Hey, just a minute, Paul. It says no trespassers. Come on. Come on! The house is owned by a mad professor. You've got no idea, have you? That sign there probably means it's a psychiatrist. Just leave it to me. Where are you going? Leaving it to you. Come back here. What are you scared of? What have you got?
Hang it off! Get it off! What do you think you're doing? I can't help it. I've got this feeling I'm being watched. I've got these icy fingers up my spine. Well, you should have worn your gloves then. Now behave yourself. See? This is a perfect opportunity to demonstrate our products. Now go and get the sample case. I'll see if I can find anybody. OK, but I still don't like it. Hello? I'd rather say goodbye. Can you... Will you go and get her stuff? I still don't like it. Necessary. Oh! Be careful! I've got an ingrowing toenail. Sorry. Is anybody about? No, but come and see what I found. Wait for me. I think it's a mess. No, it's not. A mess is a place where soldiers eat the dinner. This is a laboratory. Well, they should have had a sign on the door. Somebody could have been using it. Laboratory. Oh. It's all mucky. Of course it is. Lucky for us. How do you mean? Well, it gives us a perfect opportunity to demonstrate our products. How? Well, we can clean the place up. Make it all spick and span for the owners. That way, they're sure to buy a brush. Yes. A better bristle brush up and a bit of elbow grease. You can start over there. Me? Yes, you. Why me? I'm here in a supervisory capacity. Well, what's that make me? Head of brushes. Oh, I've never been a brush head before. It's always a first time for everything. Right, get on with it. I want to surprise the owners. As long as they don't surprise us. Get on with it. Oh! What's that? It's me. I just banged my head on this thing. Hey, I know what this is. It's a ladies' beauty salon. This is a hairdryer. It gets better. With all that hair on the floor, they're sure to need our brushes. I can't see any hair. I just want to go. Well, you should have gone before you come. Now get on with your dusting. You be careful. You be careful. That's enough of that. Bless you. Bless me what? You sneezed. No, I didn't. It must have been you. Wasn't me. I haven't had a cold in my life. Yes, you have. You had one last week. Oh, yeah. Hang on, that wasn't a cold in my life. That was a cold in my nose. Of course it was, silly me. Silly you. Just a minute. If you didn't sneeze, and I didn't sneeze, then who did sneeze? Hurt <laughs> you! Oh, he's a gentleman. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I know what this is. It's a man having a rest after his beauty treatment. Beauty treatment? That's right. It hasn't worked. Hang on. I don't think this is a man at all. This is a robot. That's it. I'm off. My horoscope said keep away from tall, dark robots. What's the matter with you? It's spooky. It reminds me of that monster film special I saw on telly last week. It was about these two fellas called Frank and Stein. They made this monster out of bits and pieces and they used electricity from lightning. Lightning? Lightning? Frightening. Anyway, that can't happen here. Why not? Well, a monster's got to have a brain to come to life. And this has definitely got no brain at all. It's not the only one. Hey, watch it. <laughs> hey, I can hear a heartbeat. It's probably mine. I think we should get out of here before he wakes up. We can always come back later. Well, taking everything into consideration and weighing up the pros and cons, I think you're right. Come on. Ah! Ah! I've been captivated! Oh, I'll get it off. Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Ah! 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 Oh! Ah!
Get off. Get the case. Where is it? Thank you very much. I thought we'd had it there. Where? There. Come on, let's get out of here. Right. Ha! Ha ha! What are you laughing at? I'm not laughing, and neither is he. Keep him talking while I think of something. How are you? I'm Barry, and you are? Bunkers! Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, oh, uh, help, Barry! Help, Barry! I wish somebody would help, Barry. <laughs> Could you hold that, please? Thank you. Phew! That was close. I wonder if his first name's Raven. Yes. <laughs> Stark, raving, bonkers. Uh, OBE and bar, bar, black sheep. Ah! Ah. Ah. The other one. Ah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So am I. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh. Oh. oh dear. I've left Paul. You won't get away with this. Barry's probably fetching help right now. <laughs> By the time help arrives, it'll be too late. They laughed at me when I said I was making a robotic housekeeper. Yeah, they laughed all right. <laughs> My invention will revolutionise the cleaning industry. And I only need one part of the jigsaw to make it all complete. Hey, well, let me go then. Help you find it. I'm very good at jigsaws. I'm the brains of the outfit. Charming. Strange, but very apt that you should mention brains. For it's your brain that's the final part I've been waiting for to complete my task. Me brain? Yes. Beggars can't be choosers. Anyway, I only want half of it. You can't take half my brain. You'll make me a half-wit. You've done that yourself already. I need the part of your brain that makes you walk around. You can't do that. I'll have to sit around in a chair all day and be waited on hand and foot. That's probably correct. Hmm. On second thoughts, who am I to stand in the way of medical science? Do your best. Oh, good. <laughs> now, where is my flutter modulator? <laughs> oh, dear. I'd better get some help. Hello. It's Barry here. I'm at 66 Ego Avenue. And if you don't come round straight away, the owner of the house is going to make Paul a half-wit. Tell him to make one for you while he's at it. Oh, very well. I'm on my way. Oh, and uh, by the way, I've just been checking your references, and I want a word with you two anyway. So until I get there, remember... No slacking. Hello? Hello? Very nice. Where is it? I can't do it without my flutter modulator. It was here on the panel. The flutter modulator. Is what you're looking for? Barry! My flutter modulator! Oh, give it to me! I need it to tap his brain with. If I can find it to tap. Microsurgery was never my strong point. Perhaps yours is more suitable. Perhaps this wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the flutter modulator. My life means nothing without it. Uh, give it to me. <laughs> Barry, to me. To you, Paul. <laughs> oh, to you. To me. To you. To me. To you. To me. To you, Paul. To me. Oh, to you. To me. To you. <laughs> <laughs> We better be going. He wants my brain. Well, why don't you let him have it? You don't use it much. I told you there was something wrong with this place. <laughs> Who's coming back? Come on. going on around here? Oh, this is Dr. Bonkers. He's invented a robot that will revolutionise the cleaning industry. Has he now? He has. We at the Better Bristle Brush Company are always interested in new inventions appertaining to the cleaning industry. Perhaps we could go inside and discuss it. Delighted, I'm sure. Perhaps you could help me with something. You're a man of intelligence, aren't you? Appertaining is a very big word. Do you know any more? One or two. And I'd be delighted to help in any way I can. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you go through and uh, take a seat in my workshop? <laughs> 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 hey, do you think we should warn him? I suppose we should. We're too late. I feel a bit guilty. I think we should hang around and make sure everything's okay. You're right. Well, all's well that ends well. Yep, and everybody's here okay. And remember, no slacking.